हाय वेलकम टू द जी पैट प्रेपरेशन सीरीज थ्री टेस्ट नंबर फोर्टीन दिस टेस्ट सीरीज विल बी हेल्पफुल इन प्रेपरेशन फॉर द जी पैट एग्जाम वी विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द टेस्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द प्रोसेस सो हियर इज द प्रोसेस दिस टेस्ट कंसिस्ट्स ऑफ टेन क्वेश्चन एंड यू विल गेट सेवन सेकेंड्स टू राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल If the answer to question one is option B, you can write it in the comments as one B. Similarly, if the answer to question two is option A, you can write it in the comments as two A. So, the first question is: An abrasive used in dentifrices is option A, dicalcium phosphate; option B, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose; option C, sodium lauryl sulfate; option D, dioxyl sodium sulfosuccinate. As you know, you have got seven seconds. If you know the answer, mention it in the comments. The time starts now. The time is over. I hope you got it right. The correct option is A. That is dicalcium phosphate. Now let us quickly move to question number two. An amphoteric surfactant used in pharmaceutical disperse systems is option A bile salts option B lecithin option C sorbitan monolurate option D sorbitan monostearate you have got 7 seconds if you know the answer mention it in the comments the time starts now so the time is over let us see the correct answer the right option is b that is lecithin i hope you are participating in the test and writing the answers in the comments that is awesome let us move ahead so the next question is a drug solution has a half life of 21 days assuming that the drug undergoes first order kinetics How long will it take for the potency to drop to 90% of the initial potency? Option A: 3.2 days. Option B: 9.6 days. Option C: 16 days. Option D: 6.4 days. Mention your answer in the comments. You have got 7 seconds. Let us see the correct answer. The right option is A that is 3.2 days. I hope you are ready to take the next question. Here it is. The parameter in the elution curve that is proportional to the concentration of a compound in gas chromatographic effluent is the Option A number of peaks. Option B width of the peak. Option C area under the peak. Option D shape of the peak. mention your answer in the comments your time starts now let us see the right answer the right option is b that is width of the peak here is the next question let us see if you know the answer A titration in which potential applied across two electrode is maintained at a constant value and the current is measured and plotted against volume of titrant is Option A potentiometric titration Option B amperometric titration Option C displacement titration Option D conductometric titration Your time starts now Here is the answer. The right option is B, that is amperometric titration. Few more questions left. Let's move ahead and take the challenge. The absorption maximum for polar compound is usually shifted with change in polarity of the solvents due to option A, hydrogen bonding. Option B, chemical reaction. Option C, ionization of the compound. Option D, change in the chromophore. Your time starts now.
The right option is C, that is ionization of the compound. Few more questions left, let's move ahead and take the challenge. A novel diterpenoid isolated from the off-taxis brevifolia. Option A, Demicolcine. Option B, Paclitaxel. Option C, Winblastin. Option D, Brevifolin. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in comments. The right option is B, that is Paclitaxel. Wow, you are participating really well in the test. Let us see if you can answer the next one. Meconic acid is a chemical market for the genus. Option A, Piper. Option B, Pilocarpus. Option C, Prunus. Option D, Papaver. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in comments. The right option is D, that is Papaver. Here is the next one. Quercetin is Option A, 5, 7, 3, trihydroxyflavones. Option B, 5, 7, 3, 4, trihydroxyflavones. Option C, 3, 5, 7, 3, 4, pentahydroxyflavones. Option D, 3, 5, 7, 3, 4, pentahydroxyflavones. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in comments. The right option is B, that is 5, 7, 3, 4, trihydroxyflavones. Here is the last one. Give it a try. 1. 2 aminothyl, perhydrozocyne on treatment with S methyl isotheria gives rise to an adrenergic neuron blocking agent. Option A. Bithanidine. Option B. Mechamilamine. Option C. Ganadrel. Option D. Guanethidine. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in comments. The right option is D, that is guanethidine. Since you participated in all the questions of this GPAT preparation series 3 test number 14, we really appreciate your effort. We wish you all the best for your GPAT preparation. See you soon. In the next GPAT preparation series video.